Hello and welcome to Ergon Web Ergon Reviews, where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Today we're going to take a look at a couple different products. First off, we have the Crawl. Now they're a new expanded line of air guns, has me pretty excited. And today we're going to take a look at the Pitbull. This thing's a monster, very, very cool. The other thing we're going to take a look at is a new scope by Athlon. This is a first focal plane scope, 6 to 24 by 50. This combo is pretty awesome. Stay with us. The Crawl Puncher Pitbull is loaded with high-end features, and let's just go ahead and address the most obvious here, the dual air tanks. This brings 755 cc's of high-pressure air on board with this beast. Now, in 22 caliber, that's going to equal about 130-some-odd shots, depending on what power setting you're going to run. Other features include an adjustable two-stage trigger, an ambidextrous tactical walnut stock, multi-shot high-capacity magazines, that are very deep, so you can run a very wide variety of pellets, and that really distinguishes Crawl from other magazine-fed air guns. Additionally, you're going to have a variable power adjuster that has plenty of tension, so it stays put once you set it. You also get a removable forearm rail, pistol grip with bipod extension, and a hard shell case for the whole rig, and you get all of this for a lot less than you'd expect to pay. Now, the rifle actually feels lighter than it looks, and feels great on the bench or in the field. I simply can't see how they got so much value into this one package. Now, speaking of this as a package, I've topped my crawl with the new Athlon first focal plane scope. Now, I'll try and demonstrate here via scope cam so that you can see how this works. As you increase or decrease the magnification, the spacing between the mill dots stays constant. This gives you much greater flexibility for long range shooting. I'm really getting to like this feature the more I use it and really look forward to hunting with this setup. Let's talk a little bit about operation performance now. The Pitbull runs off a 200 bar fill. Now each rifle comes with two magazines, which are very easy to fill once you've done it a few times. Cocking is performed by a side lever system that's also very easy to operate. There's a manual safety on the right hand side of the action. Now the trigger is easily adjustable and can be set to a very light and crisp pull of around two pounds, probably less with some extended tweaking. When we start talking about performance here, first of all, shot count is just off the chart. It's, it's a lot of shots you get out of this gun. It's going to vary depending on where you set your power. You do that right here and you just adjust it where you want it and you're good to go. Now on full power, between like full power and three quarter power, I actually found that there wasn't a great uh, difference in feet per second, but full power did use more air. So actually backing down to three quarter power is going to give you more shots and you really don't lose much off the top for velocity. Now, I tried a bunch of different pellets. Tried the 15.89 grain JSBs. I tried the 16.36 grain Terminators and the Barracuda Match and Hunter Extremes and a bunch of other ones too. And really it came down to what this gun seems to like, at least in my initial testing here, really likes the 18.13 grain JSBs. Not too surprising. That's what they use to test these guns. And it's got a lot of power, so I can see where that pellet's really a good fit. Uh, running at three quarter power, I'm getting up to 900 feet per second. I'm getting about 50 to 60 really good shots. Extreme spread in that is between 30 and 40 feet per second. Very, very manageable at that 30 to 50 yard mark. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with what I'm getting out of this. Because of the flexibility though, I mean, goodness, there's a lot of different pellets and a lot of different options because you can dial in the power. I don't think I've even begun to scratch the surface of what this rifle can really do. I just need some more trigger time with it. So let's go ahead and wrap this up now. When I look at the crawl line of guns, it sort of boggles the mind of all the features they're able to cram into something at this price point. It really has me impressed. But I have found a few things. It can be a little rough around the edges. Now, these sort of rough around the edges points, I found they just sort of smooth out with use, for example. Um, initially, the cocking lever was a little bit rough, just a few hundred rounds through it, and that's already beginning to smooth out. So I think it's just a matter of use, and you sort of see the gun come into its own. The other thing is that it's, it's loud, it's not quiet. So I would not consider this a backyard friendly air gun. I consider this a field gun. It's great for field use. That's why I want it. I want to go out and take it out shooting a collared dove or 
uh, jackrabbits or rabbits or squirrels or whatever, I want to be able to go out in the field and know that I've got air for several days, really the kind of hunting I do. Uh, it has all that going on. So for me, no big deal about it being loud, but if you guys are looking for something super, super quiet, this is not probably going to be your gun. But all in all, everything this brings to the table, just a really, really great value. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. i also like to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web and these videos. When you're looking to buy your next air gun or you're looking to get your next batch of air gun supplies, you want that new scope or that new fancy pellet that just came out, please buy it over at PyramidAir.com, www.PyramidAir.com, and also let them know that Rick sent you their way. When you're looking for real-world air gun reviews, remember Airgun Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. My name is Rick Utzer. Thanks for watching.